T100 – Unpacking and Installation The package of the T100 cycling platform includes the main unit, a quick-release lever, a 130 to 135 dropout converter, a 10-speed cassette spacer, a product manual, a set of screws and tools. At the same time, you can purchase a Margin 11-speed cassette, through axle converter, floor mats, and other accessories according to your needs. Quick release installation. Take the trainer out of the box and unfold the frame. Then, take out the leg and insert the screw, paying attention to align the square hole on the leg with the square head of the screw. Then, install the outrigger on the unit, tighten the screws, and install the nut protection caps. When installing, Pay attention to distinguish the left and right directions of the outriggers with the long side facing the flywheel. Then, use a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew the top cover of the unit. Install the included battery and then install the top cover back to the unit. Then, install your cassette to the freehub body of the smart trainer. First, put the cassette sprockets onto the freehub body in order from largest to small and pay attention to aligning with the freehub body grooves. If you are using a Shimano 10-speed or lower cassette, you should put the cassette spacer onto the freehub body before installing the cassette. Then, use a cassette lock ring tool to lock the cassette locking ring. Next, insert the dropout converter to the left side of the trainer. Pay attention to the orientation depending on the width of your bike's dropouts. With the dropout converter in place, Insert the quick-release lever into the trainer from the left side and place the conical springs on the left and right ends of the quick-release lever with the pointed ends facing inwards. Then, remove the rear wheel of your bicycle, install the frame on the trainer and lock the quick-release through axle installation. After installing the cassette, use a 5mm hex wrench to unscrew the quick-release cap at the base end of the freehub body counterclockwise. Then, screw the through axle end cap into the original position and lock it with a wrench. Then, insert the through axle dropout converter into the left side of the trainer and choose the appropriate direction according to the specifications of your bike. Finally, remove the rear wheel of your bike, install the frame on the trainer, insert and lock the through axle. XDR Freehub Body Installation Use a 5mm hex wrench to unscrew the end cap of the Freehub Body and pull out the original Freehub Body. Then, insert the XDR Freehub Body you purchased into the trainer. Turn it counterclockwise and press down the ratchet pull of the Freehub Body until unit is fully installed in place. Then, tighten and lock the quick release or through axle end cap according to your needs. Activate calibration. Install and open the Margin Utility app. Search for devices and connect to the smart trainer. After connecting, the system will prompt you to activate. Fill in your email address. Obtain and fill in the verification code and click Activate to activate successfully. After the activation is successful, enter the smart trainer connection interface. Click on the spin down calibration. Follow the prompts to pedal the smart trainer to the specified speed. The trainer will automatically complete the spin-down calibration.